All right, we're back. This is part two of the history of uh, playing cards. I was just getting finished talking about the Spanish playing cards and uh, how they came to be. Now, so far, uh, they still have the old-fashioned suits of uh, coins, cups, swords, and clubs. And as you could probably tell, that clubs right there, that came from, you know, what we have as clubs now. All righty. And let's go onward. So as these were developed from tarot cards, so were other cards. Like, um, right here we have some German playing cards. These are German style playing cards. These are actually made in uh, Hungary. And um, there are uh, Swiss cards which differ slightly from German cards. Um, Swiss cards have a different suit. Which I'll show you right here in a second. And here, here's a good example. This is, a, I think, a um, advertising card slipped into the deck. I don't read Hungarian or whatever it is. But right here you have the, the leaf, the bell, acorn, and hearts. And those are the suits in the German one. How it differs from Swiss cards in Switzerland is instead of the hearts and the leaves they have shields and flowers and this is a 33 card deck I believe and I'll be making videos on how to play uh, this game as well and there are a uh, couple kings hijack and for lack of a better term low jack there's German names for these cards but I do not know them offhand, but these are the face cards. You have the low jack, you have the high jack, and then you have the king. And how you uh, identify them, if you don't haven't played with them often, is the low jacks will have the pip uh, towards the center of the card, and the high jack will have the pip off to the corners, and usually something in the hat, like a feather here. And the kings obviously have crowns, scepters, and on horseback. Um, and right here is a good example of the ace. Here's the ace right here. Let's see, take a look at these. The other aces here bells, leaves, hearts, and acorns. Makes up the. Here's the other aces right here, and they're supposed to, uh. All right, so um, pretty much what uh, German playing cards are right here. They're missing um, certain numbered cards. Like, they only go as high to seven, I believe. So seven on up. And then the ace really is a numbered card. And I'll be posting videos on how to play games with these as well. And uh, where you can go to get... Um, your own German playing cards. And um, hopefully I'll be uh, getting some Swiss cards so I can show you how to play with them as well. There's not really a difference, like I said, but just for the sake of... Uh, I'll try to see if I can track those down. Alright, so during this whole time before we get to what we're used to, what developed in Japan are Hanafuda cards. I have two sets right here. You've seen this one if you see my Koi Koi video. And uh, this is a different set, more expensive. I'll be using this one. And what happened was, is when Japan closed off ties with the Western um, countries, they developed Hanafuda cards because they outlawed um, gambling. And with that, in some sense, Western cards. So here's the deck right here. You have 12 suits, two cards each, including a couple blank ones, because they, they know you're going to lose shit. And um, what differs these is these are thick cards. Like they're made out of almost like cardboard, as you can probably don't know if you can see that. Thick card like that. And there are four cards to the suit. So here's um, August right here. I hope you can see that alright. 
and uh, how you tell the differences is uh, by what flower it ha uh, that's in each suit. So right here, see like this little mound, what looks like a hill? That's actually grass, and that makes up the month of August. And those other ones, there's a crane, whatnot, and they all have different things. So right here, this is the flower for that month. Flowers here. The hanging down grass or the heck that is. Um, and that's basically how you determine. So the 12 suits uh, in Hanna for the cards. And uh, they play Hanna for the all over the place. What the, well, these cards. Japan, of course, where they were invented. And um, along with um, South Korea. And uh, in Hawaii as well. And Hanna for the cards were um, invented, I believe, in. Let's see, look at my notes real quick. In the 1800s? Or. Yeah, or pro oh, in the 1600s is when they closed uh, contact with the Western uh, countries uh, and whatnot. So that's um, Hanna for the cards right there. And. Uh, so right now, we'll go on to uh, what we know as today. Oh, mostly. Not quite there yet. So, here is a deck of standard red back bicycle cards right here. And um, there's also dragon back ones with dragons on the back. Pretty unique. And these eco ones which are made out of recycled material and you can see there the cards look pretty neat on the back of that anyway so this is the cards right here and um, back in the day it was just the um, the pips and by, I mean that there would just be um, there would be like that and these are based off of French style tarot cards and the set that we know of as today are um, numeral um, 2 to 10, uh, a jack, a queen and king, and also um, an ace, like we have here, ace of spades. And um, this is what the playing cards turned out to be. And it went through a few design changes throughout the year, uh, throughout the time and whatnot. Uh, there were no jokers, just a 52 card deck. And um, in France, these changed back and forth for a while. The face cards did, because with the French Revolution and all, well, no one's going to play with monarchy on the card, so they changed it for a while until um, they reversed that with the rise of uh, Napoleon. And then when the cards came to America during the 1860s, they developed the Joker. And there's two of these two a deck, uh, which brings it up to um, a um, 54 card deck if you play with both of them, depending on the game. And the Joker is basically based off the old Fool from the tarot cards. So that's what that's. Uh, originated right there and with that the jokers completed the modern day deck which we know as today and of course the suits that we all know are spades Let me get that real quick almost done with this video spades uh, hearts uh, diamonds and clubs and um that's what we played as today. I'm going to finish quickly with a short part three about playing cards and talk a little bit more about these. Alright, see you then.